Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got Father's Day baseball. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. So the Minnesota Twins are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. First pitch coming your way next. Bottom of the first, and here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Leading off for the Rangers, the first baseman, Nathaniel Oh. Matt, back to work. Hey. Strike one. Hey, we got no one here. Pitch one. misses. And one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Where's the one now? Next Ball pitch right is there. inside, and a count two and one. Left hand hitter waits. Strike two. two, two. Yep. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone, bottom half of the first. <laughs> well, Obviously, the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by right, hitters, second. but you'll see no this every field, once in a while. You yeah. give up on that pitch at the plate, no and then left. the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks Ladies like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. Now playing first. Here's Nick Solak. Two for eight in the series oh, so far. Narvaez. First pitch, Whoa, just down. misses. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Down, Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead hey, of just on, looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup that to start an inning, got to be feeling stop. pretty good out there on the Holy. mound because when you think of Seager. just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And here's Corey Seager to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This go, is how fellas. it's going to be Let's today. Go. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. And the Rangers set down in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Marcus Simeon. Leading off for the Rangers, the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. And a pitch. Simeon got? tries to hold up, appeal to first, did not go. Next offering is in for a strike. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. 
Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than hey, you? Right, I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. That's the next two. offering misses. Ball two. two. Ball, Anyways, yeah. Rusty's got a good zone, very good on hey, the corners of the plate, now. but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and quickly one away in the second. Oh, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow Batting, death. Good. With two strikes, you're looking no to protect, fielder. and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, good. and you know Stay you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And now the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. One down, base is empty. Misses outside, outside. two and oh. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. One now, easy out. And that's downstairs and outside. There's a strike three and one. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Righty delivers. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Hey, we got one here. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two gone. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, that the sort of fit. pitch you're hoping for, but a bit of a mistake, and I'd say oh, in a very yeah. hittable location, but oh, clearly the break oh. was enough to get him to swing through it. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And, and down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Casey Golden. Leading off for the Rangers. Love how vocal the umpire right is today. Casey. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, no catcher's man. mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a miss. No one here. And it's 0-1. Oh 0-2 as he waves at that one. Oh and two. Hey, here we go. Swings and misses. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So Good this puncher. lineup hasn't had much success. Okay. Trying to figure him out. Drop I'm impressed with go. what we're seeing here. Here's Jose Trevino.
check swing, but he went too far. It's 0 and 1. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And the 0 2. Out to short. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting none. The third baseman, Andy Ibanez. So next to hit for Texas, Andy Ibanez. Ibanez having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Hey now, we've got two. This one hit to Franco. Fires across the diamond, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Bottom four, and now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Nathaniel Lowe. For the Rangers, the first baseman, Nathaniel. Low. Yeah, the right hater back to work. That's inside. Hey, here we go. No outs now. Plays the first here. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride now low, that. out of the Left way field. early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Digging in, Nick Solak. That one fouled off. No one down here. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 2 now. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This hey, is where they need right to get here. going. The pitch. And fouled off. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Tying run at the plate. Got him. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because no if matter. they get Number on, five. just the distraction that they create with Corey. all that speed over on the base Seager. pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Hey, Seeger stands in now. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one no base strike. hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things Turn and makes two. the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Swings and misses. And the count even one and one.
low over at first with one away. That's Next bolted. offering is down low. I got two one the count. Righty to the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike that two. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Left field. Pays hit as he pulls up short. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a no really bad. tough Number play two. for a third baseman or shortstop man. to get to, and the Mark same it. for the left fielder, so he just found Simeon. a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now a huge hey. at-bat in this game coming up. Simeon in the box now, takes a cold strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. One out, runners at first and second. Ball. Next one misses, now one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little now controversial with the call. Field. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now here is Adolis hey. Garcia in there for strike one. First and second, two down. And he's down 0-2 as two. he swings through it. Two down now, two down. And the right hater deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Rangers leave a pair. They're still down. It's two zip. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Rangers DH Rubnet Odor. For the Rangers. The pitch. The designated hitter. There. That's in there. Oh, Getting a little oh. frustrated with the strike zone. Comes up empty no, no, on the swing. 0-2 right. oh, now. Hey, nobody. The nope. next pitch misses. And yeah, the count one and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And that's a leadoff double. Now it's the right fielder, Casey Golden. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. One and one. No outs. One out runner on second. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Now battle. The catcher. Jose. Ravillo.
Jose Trevino stepping in for the Rangers. That one's in there on one. One out now. Tapped in front of the play. Tossed to Narvaez. Two gone now. Now batting third baseman, Andy Ibanez. Andy Ibanez stepping right in here, for guys. the Rangers. Grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Odor stands at second with two gone. Two down now, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for Texas. They trail it here, two nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel the Lowe. Rangers, the first Matt, baseman. Back to work. Nathaniel. Ball, Ball one, one no strikes. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Throws to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of no keeping bad. the ball out of no the left. air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Nick Solak. Two for ten in the series. Foul ball. Up the middle, over to first, two up, two down. Now batting, shortstop, Corey Seager. And here's Corey Seager to hit. All right, come on now. Swings through that oh, one, man. oh and one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. But why the kick the pitch? The other way, and he beats the shift. Natalie turns and heads for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The batter, number two, second baseman. Marcus. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can Simeon. make that pitcher work oh a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Hit hard on the ground is short. Polanco tosses to first. Play made, that ends the inning. Rangers leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. The center fielder, Adolis. The right-hander back to work. Late swing, fouled off. Was it one here?
Okay, we got no outs here. Deal one. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Going to now. This ball's chopped on the ground. Arise on the first. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Now that the designated hitter, Rugnet Odor. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Here we go now. Let's go. That's Next pitch down. downstairs. Ball one. There's a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Left hand batter waits. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. He is safe. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split yeah. finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. The 0 1. Late with the swing there. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's off balance speed. There's one over to first. Oh, see. Now batting the catcher, Jose Trevino. Here's Jose Trevino. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. And now the count is even. That's Next offering two. misses. Now two balls and a strike. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Eight, two. two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Two, two, on the ground, right side. The rise picks it up on the first, and that is the inning. One left for Texas. They trail it here, three nothing. And welcome back. Now the third baseman, Andy Abanez. Way to go for the Rangers. The Rangers in the striking distance, but have Andy. some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. First offering, and it just misses. Counts one and zero. Oh. Hey, we got no out. And it's one and one. one Just an one outstanding strike. job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Eight, Next two. offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if hey, you take that pitch again. against get any pitcher out there in the mound. Here's a one-two. Popped up. Arrives oh, on his it, way it. over. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Now batting. First baseman. Not that yo. Low. So the batting order turns over. Here's Nathaniel Low. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left it, field. Polanco makes the grab. Out number two. That's a really nice play ranging back now into the outfield for that catch. No we all know there. those can be a little tricky, especially if the so wind's flat. swirling around out there. Up next for the Rangers, Nick Solak. I 
First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And the Rangers set down in order. Still down 3-0. Welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. Leading off for the Rangers. The, the line of the pitch. Corey. He's been so Seager. sharp today, even oh, over 100 down. pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. That one pushed to the left and foul. And no outs here. The 0 2. This to third. Franco over to pick it up. And Seeger is set down. Well, a tremendous stop there, but it looked like he had a little trouble getting off the throw as quickly as he would have liked. Had to get something on it to beat the runner. Jimmy Gann. Here is Marcus Simeon. In there for strike one. Here we go now. Let's go. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down. 0 2. Yeah, we got one here. Caught and missed, struck him out. And there are two outs. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Hey, now we've got two. Two outs, base is empty. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Odor stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Hey, now we got two. We got two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Oh, that knuckleball might have changed directions three, four, maybe even five times on its way to the plate, and that's how it's able to get a hitter to chase like that. Sometimes steps on the bag himself, ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today, but he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A shutout in this one, three nothing, our final score. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep for Chris.